Hi everyone, welcome back to The Sunny Side, <clears throat> where we have weekly love horoscopes, hypnosis style meditations uh, to help mend broken hearts and find true love, some NLP and waking hypnosis tips and tricks that you can use in your daily life, and some fun astrology videos like this one. And today, I'm going to rank the Zodiac's biggest whiners and complainers. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, I'm Sunny. All right, first things first, if you want to head, I put timestamps in, um, in the description box. So if you want to head directly to the list, feel free to go ahead. And uh, it's a long video. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Thanks for supporting the channel. And that's the action. All right, I'm also feeling a little better. I've been under the weather for the last couple of weeks, I guess. <laughs> Still, that funky stuff is happening in my eye. I still have a bit of a cough. Cough to the cold. <laughs> and so, I hope it helps. All right, here we go. What's a whiner and complainer? All right, well, there are many ways to express your displeasure at something. Some people are vocal, some shell up, some tell others and spread, you know, some spread rumors. Some are passive aggressive and others are aggressive aggressive, right? But however they choose to express themselves, <coughs> one thing's for certain, they're going to let you know. <laughs> the guys on this list. And here's the real kicker. The guys on this list, they can complain about almost anything. Yes, it could be something uh, you did, right, that uh, upset them. Yes, you could be wrong. But as you'll see, you could also be right. <laughs> and... They didn't see it, so they decided to stick, you know, to whatever their beliefs were or whatever and attack you instead of, uh, you know, just trying to find out what's going on. But whatever. Anyways, it's also very likely that they may be afraid of something and instead of confronting the fear, you know, again, they'll take it out on you. And finally, it's entirely possible that they're simply just being lazy <laughs> and they don't want to do something. So again, instead of just doing it, they whine and complain. It's not about, you know, so they whine and complain. Uh, for most of the guys, it's not about being lazy, you know. Just as an example, you know, I'm going to use Taurus as an example here. I know Taurus is one of the hard-working signs, but they also can be lazy. And if Taurus doesn't want to do something, they just don't do it. They're not going to whine and complain, it ab complain about it, you know. Um, anyways, some of these guys on this list are so annoying and... Uh, it just lacks class and social decorum. And you know, I'm going to use another example here. I'll use Libra because I'm hard on Libra a lot, but I actually really like Libra, right? Libra judges everyone, and it's difficult to uh, meet and surpass a Libra standards. But you don't hear Libra bitching every time someone does something, right? Or every time they don't measure up. And it's one of the reasons I love Libra so much. For all of her faults, she has class and she's always trying to better herself. You know, make a be more beautiful world for herself and for all of, the, all of her peeps around her. Anyways, like seriously, okay, before, before I lose focus, right? Let's get back on track here. All right, let's get down to the list. Just saying, so that's the whiners and complainers. Number five, Aries. Oh, come on guys, like holy moly. Complaining is like a sport for these guys. Especially as if someone has Aries as their ascendant. Yes, Aries is aggressive. Yes, they're competitive. But, you know, they're also really sexy and a lot of fun. The problem is, for better or worse, right or wrong, they always want their own way. And they want to beat you to the punch, too. It's annoying. The astrological key words for Aries are, I am. Oops, oops, let's get back here. Yeah, seriously. The, uh... Astrological keywords for Aries are her, I am, right? But like, so, <laughs> you are, what, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, Aries likes to win a lot. They tend to like things that are short and sweet. So they're probably not gonna nag you to death. Aries rising will nag you to death. Regular Aries not gonna nag you to death. And, they're, um, and actually, an Aries will switch it up midstream so that they win. They see they're gonna lose, they're gonna switch it up. Aries is not stupid at this. Winning is very important to them. And in usual Aries fashion, they will be violent and rude about it. All right? Libra has the most class. Aries has 
the least class, all right? Just letting you guys know. So expect to get dumped on very, fairly heavily and harshly. And again, it's like some, so, it's like some weird sport and you're the target. <clears throat> if, you know, and I wouldn't take it too personally, however, you know, however, you know regardless of how closely the attacks hit, hit home, Aries isn't really being personal. They're just trying to win the game. If Scorpio does it, if Sagittarius does it, they mean it. If Aries does it, they're just playing a game. I mean, and even if they're wrong, you know, even if they're out to lunch or even if they arrive late to the conversation, they're just going to... Anyways. Anyways. <clears throat> now, I was sick, and this is for the Aries who've been bugging me last week. All right. Please allow me to show you how a double Scorpio, you know, steps on some toes here. Did you know in Tarot, one of the cards that represents Aries is... Do -do 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 -do, the Fool straight up okay please go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below <laughs> number five the biggest complainers you know even if they have absolutely nothing to complain about aries that was easy all right oh wow our next sign is super emotional and anything can set these guys off and more often than not they run away than stand in and fight and they have a completely unique style of whining and complaining, and that's Cancer. Now, for those who don't know my story, Cancer is one of my all-time favorite signs. Both of my nieces are little artsy-fartsy Cancers. You know, one of my ex-girlfriends, who I still talk to all the time, she's totally a Cancer, you know? Jordan, our music therapist here, is a Cancer, you know? And my best friend and biggest supporter for most of the first 25 years of my life my little sister, when she was alive, she was a very moody, very artsy-fartsy Cancer. And, <laughs> this is probably a good, as good a place to begin as any. My little sister was very popular. She worked in the film industry out here with my, uh, for my uncle in Vancouver, and then back in Global News uh, TV in Toronto. I was very proud of her. Anyways, do you know what her nickname was? It was misery. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was so funny. My grandmother used to say, Boy, where you and misery going tonight? You know, take your key. <laughs> it was like too funny. Hey, grandmother, call you misery. <laughs> <coughs> okay, first, cancer isn't lazy, right? They're messy, really messy. <laughs> so when they complain about not wanting to do something, <coughs> They're not being lazy, so don't call them that, you know? You'll just hurt their feelings for no reason. And if they say they don't want to do something, there's probably some emotional reason behind it. And it's your job to figure it out. So again, don't throw stones at your little buddy just because you can't figure it out. Next, having said that, again, with cancer, it's always an emotional thing. So it can be triggered by almost anything. And here we go. Here's the real action on cancer. Cancer is like sideways, sideways, sideways. You know, you'll see them coming and then pinch. And you'll be like, what the hell? And then they'll run away, right? <laughs> and this has happened to me so many times in life. So many times. It's not even a thing anymore. Seriously. Sideways, 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 sideways. Pinch. Why the hell? Why'd you throw a paintbrush at me? <laughs> you know? Whatever. Cancer isn't necessarily the most vocal sign either. So if something's bugging them, they might not tell you in words, but they will express it non-verbally. <coughs> Cancers will pout, they will cry, they will run away, and then they'll come back, not say anything, and then run away again. And you'll be like, what? What do you want, right? <laughs> Cancer can be passive aggressive when they're upset. You know, they can also break stuff, <laughs> your stuff, <laughs> you know. They will lash out, but eventually they will sulk, and this will hurt them even more. And if you don't figure out what's going on fast enough, they'll think you don't understand them, which you don't, right? And this will totally cut them in such a deep way that the cycle gets even deeper and worse. It's completely mental bananas. And all you did was stand there and say, yo, what's up? <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny, but still mental. 
And I'd love to sit here and tell you what really upsets a cancer, but truthfully, in all of my years, I still can't figure it out. So, but I do know what to do when they are upset. And when they are, the best action for a cancer, an upset cancer, is a big hug and unconditional love. It doesn't work with all the signs, but that's what you do with cancer. It'll calm them down, and it'll be supportive until the emotions run their course. Number four, super miserable cancer. Oh, man. <laughs> Holy goodness. Yo, boy, where are you in misery going tonight? <laughs> okay, come. <laughs> Next, number three, and there's no way to sugarcoat this one, Leo. Okay? Yeah, this one isn't a flinch, right? You'll see Leos, you know, you see Leos think of themselves as the kings of the jungle and the entire universe revolves around them. And truthfully, they're so good at so many things. I mean, why not? Uh, you know, I don't really blame them, but as the center of the universe, they do feel entitled to comment on everything that doesn't meet their standards. Now, in fairness to Leo, they just want the best. And if they're complaining about you, then there really is a good chance that your game is slipping and you really should up your game a bit. But having said that, some Leos, well, they just like to complain. They want to rule the people around them. And this means, you know, if they're a bad ruler, they will find fault in almost anything, you know, and everything, you know, or anyone, you know, everything you do, they'll find fault in. Just so they can power trip and see you squirm to please them. It's a bad Leo, all right? <coughs> but regular Leos as well, all right? Leos rule their universe with high standards and they're vocal about it, but there's more. Leos like attention and actually more than any other sign, Leos crave the limelight. And this means two things. If they feel like the spotlight is being taken away, then they will find something to bitch about to regain the attention of the crowd. And they will also bitch and complain to let everybody know who the real boss in the room is. All right, be careful. Leo can also be lazy, and complaining is the lazy way to get attention. So you see, Leos know what they're doing. For them, whining is a tool, or, you know, another way to look at it, it's a strategy to get what they want. And they want, Leos want two things at all times, and that is to be surrounded by the best, and they want the attention. And whining and complaining is the fastest way to get both. This one is easy, short, sweet, easy peasy. <laughs> number three, Leo. All right, next, number two, and this one is interesting. Our next sign on the whiners list, <clears throat> and I've said this before, but it's true, and it colors every single thing they do. These guys have some kind of weird rage against sobriety. And seriously, their entire existence is designed to avoid reality at any cost. They have a reputation of being super psychic. And although they are psychic, the super part comes from trying everything they can to constantly trance out. And they use that psychic thing as a bit of an excuse. But guys, trust me here. Being psychic is having the ability to focus while in trance, not get drunk, you know, act stupid and avoid responsibilities. I mean, even their intellectual hero, Einstein, well, his claim to fame was trying to describe in the language of math how to get messed up in an altered state. Like, seriously. And if you haven't guessed it yet, it's Pisces. <coughs> so easy. Pisces is one of the biggest whiners and complaining, you know, whiners and crybabies, literal whiners and literal crybabies of every type of zodiac, you know? Like cancer, a Pisces reaction stems from emotional responses, so it can be triggered by almost anything, you know? And more than any other sign, they will whine and complain and deflect attention and swear and threaten, all because they're too lazy to get off their big fish ass, you know? fish butts <laughs> and it really is difficult to be a part of this really is bad you know this is the good ones and the bad ones they will create excuses they'll lie they'll avoid the issue and they would rather you think bad things of them you know a Pisces would rather you think bad things of them you know that's part of reality they're not in the reality right so if you make it up for them it's just made up as normal anyways rather than 
get up and do what they have to do. So when a Pisces begins to complain, they might not actually be upset about anything. They are actually more likely than not trying to avoid something. Leos want the attention, Pisces is avoiding something. And if a Pisces wants to avoid something, they will let everyone in the known universe know that they are unhappy. Number two, super easy, Pisces, <laughs> you know? And a lot of people might rank them higher, but here we go. Place your bets. There's still a lot of signs out there, guys, but our number one sign is a reputation of whining and complaining about everything. And I learned this long before I began studying astrology, and that's do 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 Virgo! Yay! <coughs> I finally found a list that Virgo could be number one on. <laughs> okay. This is for bugging me while I was sick. Okay. Here we go. First, in their defense, Virgos are order and control freaks. You know? They process a ton of information and they put it all into some kind of system or logical but definitely tangible plan. You see, Virgos see a way the world should be, right? Uh, but it's not, ex and it's not exactly subjective. It's based on legitimate facts and information. But they're also vocal about it. And I personally love and respect Virgo for this, but it's also where we don't see eye to eye. And that's the issue of facts. Because you see, Okay, and you see from the last, uh, if you didn't see the last video, I'll give a quick recap. The card in the Tarot that represents Virgo and the entire symbology of a uh, Virgo doesn't mean being chaste and reserved. It means being locked away and unable to see beyond one's own limitations. And I'll prove it right now for everyone. I've been getting a lot of heat from Virgos who have been ever so quick to point out that some of the wealthiest people who ever lived were Virgos, but I ranked Taurus as the highest on the list. Why, Sonny? All right, all right, Playa, check this out. Two birds, I'm gonna knock out two birds with one stone here. All right, go for it, Sonny. Now, just like I said, it all comes down to information, and Virgos simply cannot think outside of the box, or come out with answers that are not right in front of their face. So no, they're not the smartest to begin with, even though, truthfully, they are extremely smart, but with a limit. Anyways, so, guess who has more money than every Virgo who, ha who ever lived added together? All right, Playa, you asked for this. You tried to kick me when I was down. Do, 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 do. How about the New York Stock Exchange? You got that? Okay, and what's its zodiac sign? Well, the Taurus, you know? And even though Virgos have been bitching about me for this for weeks straight, let's say <coughs> there's a reason the symbol of financial success is the bull, duh, and not the locked away, closed minded virgin. <laughs> like, what the? So you see, when a Leo complains, you should probably up your game, right? If a Cancer complains, they're upset about something. If a Pisces complains, they're probably being lazy. But when a Virgo complains, you should probably ask yourself how you got involved in a debate with such a short-sighted wannabe intellectual anyways. Anyways, enough name-calling, Sonny. But Virgos have a reputation of thinking they're the super smart, and as a result, they think they can get away with bitching about everything. Just saying. And I'm sure you guys see this all the time. I get comments supporting that as well. Anyways, whatever. <coughs> and we all know, I could go double Scorpio and lay some extreme poison on this debate and end it once and for all. But I think I've been, it's not going to help anything, and I think I've been uh, harsh enough. So next, in astrology, it's very common to say that as Virgos are here to serve others. So yeah, that comment from the Virgo who said Virgos make the best money managers is definitely true. Virgos are one of the best signs at helping others in a very physical and tangible way. And in Virgo's defense, I'm not that bad, right? In Virgo's defense, you know, let's put it all together here and help out Virgo. You know, they are smart. They can see the facts laid out in front of them. They're trying to help you. They worry about out outcomes. They don't want to be blamed. You know, 
Go blame Scorpio. He's arrogant. He doesn't care anyways. You know? But Virgo, they get upset easily. So when you put it all together, if, you, if they see something out of place, <coughs> their OCD kicks in and they freak. You know? Yeah, they're perfectionists. But that's not the point. Uh, they're trying to help you. You know, they're nervous and they care. They're not doing it for the attention. And no, they don't necessarily see a better way. But they do see the way things should be. All, you know, all things equal, of course, right? And they get, you know, and again, they get OCD when things don't add up. So with that, our number one biggest whiners and complainers of the Zodiac, and you probably, I'm sure you guys made a lot of money on this one, <laughs> Virgo. All right, congrats, baby. You're number one. <laughs> Stop pushing me. Okay. And with that, as always, I hope everyone takes it with a grain of salt. Or as this Michael, one of our, our um, viewers, has commented, a whole bucket of salt. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, I really don't care. These are the Astro Facts. Deal with. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them in the weekly Love Scopes video which usually come out every Thursday. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet or shared the video on uh, Facebook or in a YouTube playlist, what are you waiting for? The button's right there, you know? All right, enough. I hope everyone's having fun this afternoon. From the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a beautiful week. Don't be a whiner and complainer. Guys, come on, stick it up. And I'll see you soon.